Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jesse Mayfield. She and I am coming to you live from the gym here on the campus of Acton Boxborough Regional High School in Acton, Massachusetts. Here to bring you live coverage of today's 2023 MIAA Division I State Tournament round of 16 contest between the hosting sixth seeded Revolution of Acton Boxborough and the visiting 11th seeded Brookline High Warriors. You can see the Warriors warming up. They are coming off uh, a victory over uh, the 22nd seeded Revere Minutemen last week in a three sets to one victory that came a bit down to the wire with Brookline winning their final set by just two points. But while Acton Boxborough got the three sets to none sweep in their uh, round of 32 contest against 27th seeded Newton South, the Revolution uh, won two of their three sets by a margin of just two points. So that just goes to show you the parity that can exist here in Massachusetts high school volleyball so who knows what we're going to see here today. I'm just going to take a minute to write out uh, the roster that I got for Acton Boxborough. So uh, so I'll have it with me. So just going to be a second before I start start up talking again just give me a sec All right, I just finished up uh, typing in uh, the roster for the Acton Boxborough Revolution, who come in as the sixth seed after an impressive 16 and one record in their regular season. Brookline, the 11th seed after finishing 12 and six uh, in the regular season. They are coming off a three to one match win over Revere in the round of 32 last week where they were led by uh, a combined 30 kills and four aces from their senior co-captains Cam Jilek and Charlie Perdue as well as a heroic effort, uh, effort against the Heat by their freshman co-captain and uh, primary setter Alex Magula. So we'll see which of these two teams can take the heat out here in Acton. 
It is the 2023 MIAA Division I Boys Volleyball State Tournament. Round of 16. 11th seeded Brookline against 6th seeded Acton Boxborough. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan out here in Acton, Massachusetts, and you are watching Brookline High Volleyball. of the serve taken by four over on one and back down on one by Ellis Cowan. Pushed over by Huang, taken by Jailak. Sent over on two by Smagula. Alex Smagula ends it. Dug out by Smagula, followed up by Gutierrez, punched over by Purdue, punched back by Lee, taken by Miller, punched down by Jailak with the reach. This serve taken by Ching, set Delamargio. Spike blocked! It's Charlie Perdue! Taken by Perdue, set by Smagula. By Vars, ends it! The thunderclap from Chris Stapps by Vars. All right, soon to get underway. There's about two minutes left on the clock here. Remember, uh, as always, if you end up enjoying this live stream, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all my upcoming live streams. Uh, and if there's anything you'd like to say, I encourage you to say it in the live chat. Could be as simple as uh, go Brookline or go Acton Boxboro. No matter who it is you're cheering for, we always appreciate the good vibes here in the live chat. Maybe you want to give a shout out to your favorite player. Maybe you're tuning in to watch a family member or a friend and you want to give them a shout out in the live chat. That's always fun. What's also fun is uh, hearing where people are tuning in from with these online live streams. Folks can tune in from all over the world. And so it's sometimes kind of fun to hear about people tuning in from different states or even different countries sometimes. You know, just kind of gives you an appreciation for how uh, connected we can be in this digital age. Of course, if you want to give any of your own comments or analysis on the action so far, that's always encouraged. Uh, if you notice any technical difficulties, either with the video or the audio, uh, you know, please let me know. It might be something I don't notice on my end, and it might be something I can fix. Uh, I've been using the guest Wi-Fi here at Acton Boxboro. So far, uh, it's working strong. I've got my phone's uh, hotspot as a backup if things go haywire. But so far, things are looking strong, and hopefully they stay that way. Uh, and then, of course, if you notice me flubbing the pronunciation of anyone's names, uh, either for Brookline or Acton Boxboro, please let me know uh, the correct pronunciation in the live chat.
All right, that was our national anthem, and now the TU team is coming out for the traditional pregame handshake. I see we've got our first note in the live chat from Craig Chin. Hi, Jesse, watching from home. Go Warriors. So happy to see you tuning in, Craig. Of course, the, the Chin family, big supporters of Brookline High Sports, parents of a couple of Brookline High athletes as we see the teams getting hyped up for the start. of this one here. Of course, Craig Chin, uh, father of a uh, Brookline High alum and former baseball player and hockey player, Aiden Chin, and also father of Brookline softball and girls volleyball player Mackenzie Chin, who just graduated this past Sunday along with the rest of the senior class of 2023. Congrats to all Brookline High seniors for their graduation on Sunday as we see the teams getting ready to get going. Brookline coming out with a starting rotation of Cam Jilek, Kristaps Vivars, Alex Magula, Charlie Perdue, Amir Tomer, and what appears to be Ellis Cowan. It'll be Amir Tomer taking the first serve of the match here in set number one. Brookline versus Acton Boxborough, round of 16. Here we go. The serve by Tomer is received by the Libro. It is set. Tap over is received by Cowan, but sent back on one as the Revolution reset. A spike is blocked. Chris Stapps, five R's. Vivars known more for generating kills than blocks, but what a stupendous start there for Brookline as he blocked the attempted spike by number six, Nick Heitman. This serve is received, it is set. Another spike from Heitman. This one's gonna go through for the kill. This time the southpaw hitter for the Revolution came through in the middle and got the kill for the first point for the Revolution. On serve now, number four, Lucas Tam. Tam's serve is taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. like the spike, perfect trajectory for Cam Jilek's first kill of the match. He had 16 kills in the round of, wait, no, they gave the point to Acton Boxborough. They're saying that, I guess they're saying that Jilek touched the net on his follow through there. This serve is taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Jilek winds and fires again. No stopping that one. This time, right back to the spike. No violation there. First kill of the match for sure, this time by Cam Jilek. Could not be dug out by the Libero, number seven, Samir v uh, Vasudeo. Jilek the serve. It's received by Tam. Set, spike down the line and it's wide. The spike attempted by number one, Jake Mormon, missed just wide. Three to two, Brookline leads here in the first set. Jilek back on serve. And it drops on the line. The Revolution decided to watch, but it dropped perfectly. Jilek now with his first ace. Another serve taken by Vasudeo, set by Parth Pawar. Spike Heitman, it's off the ceiling, and Purdue's gonna keep it in play. Smagula bumps it over. Taken by Vasudeo, set by Pawar. Spike Heitman, this time could not be dug out. Credit to Brookline for doing whatever they could to stay in that point, but Nick Heitman ultimately does get his second kill of the match. And now it'll be Vasudeo, the Libero, on serve for Acton Boxborough. 
Serve taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Quick spike, Cowan deflected and taken by Vasudeo. Set by Pawar. Spike Mormon taken by Jilek. Blocked back on the on two hit. Recovered by Cowan, set by Smagula. Spike by Vars is taken by Tam, but could not be followed up. That one just a little too close to the net for Pawar to follow up. Five to three, Vivars now on serve for Brookline. Serve is up and over, taken by Vasudeo, set by Pawar. Awkward pushover by Heitman, taken by Vivars, set Smagula, tap over by Cowan is taken by Heitman, set by Pawar. Spike deflected, dug out by Vivars, but could not be followed up. That was number 24, Sai Nala Genugari on the hit there for the Revolution. Now on serve will be the Southpaw Heitman. Serve taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Purdue spikes and gets it. Drops on the back line for a kill. These two teams looking pretty even so far as number three, Rowan Miller, checks in to serve for Brookline. Serve, dug out by Vasudeo, set by Pawar. Spike, Nalo Genagari is recovered by Declan DeYoung, set by Smugula, tap over by Purdue, is recovered, set by Pawar. Spike, Heitman this time, deflected and taken by Eli Traub, followed up, spiked over by Purdue, good for the kill. Nalo Genagari got a piece of it, but it deflected sideways off his hands, and no one could recover as Purdue gets his second kill of the match. Seven to four, the Brookline lead. Miller back on serve. Serve taken by Vasudeo, set by Heitman. Spike is dug out by Traub, set by Smagula. Spike Purdue deflected, somehow dug out, followed up by Pawar. Spike Heitman is good for another kill. Impressive dig out there by number two, Obi Ume, as Heitman gets his third kill of the match. He leads all players so far. Subbing back in to replace Ume is number one, Jake Mormon. He'll be taking the serve. Serve goes for an ace off the side of the hands of Traub. And it's a one point set right now. Serve into the net. Brookline back on the serve. They lead by two. Brookline sending out their own southpaw now and Alex Magula. Serve up and over. It's taken by Heitman, set by Pilar. Spike Tam is good. Went sideways off the hands of Jilek, who was trying for the kill, and Lucas Tam has his first kill. Back to a one-point set. Serve appears to be coming from number five, John Iglesias. Serve taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Spike Purdue, taken by Mormon, set Pilar. Heitman just has to push it over. Taken by Traub, set Smagula. Spike Purdue, this time through the hands for the kill. Nine to seven as Purdue now has three kills. And he now goes on serve following that one. Purdue's serve taken by Vasudeo, followed up by Heitman, and it could not be followed up. 
The deep serve from Charlie Perdue made it hard for them to sequence their hits together. And a timeout is called by the Revolution. 10 to seven, Brookline leads here in the first set. Unofficial stats so far. These are just stats that I'm keeping track of myself. These are not the official counts as those are being taken by obviously the scorers at the scorers table. But what I have so far for Brookline, Charlie Perdue with a team high three kills. Cam Jilek with one kill and one ace. Chris Stapps Vivars with one kill and one block. For Acton Boxborough, Nick Heitman with three kills. Lucas Tam and Sai Nalajenugari with one kill each. And Jake Mormon with one ace. So seven of Brookline's 10 points have come off of offensive hits and six of Acton Boxborough's seven points have come off offensive hits. Not a lot of errors so far, which just goes to show these are two high ranking squads playing here in this round of 16 contest. Out of the timeout, Purdue serve. It's taken by Heitman, set by Pawar, Spike Tam, taken by Tomer, set by Smagula, Vivars taps it, dug out by a diving Heitman, followed up by Pawar, pushed over by Tam, taken by Smagula, set by Tomer, Vivars again, deflected and taken by Vasadeo, followed up by Pawar, Tam the spike, blocked by Jilek, recovered by Pawar, bumped by Vasadeo, pushed over by Heitman, taken by Purdue, set by Smagula, Jilek the spike, no stopping Cam Jilek as he gets his second kill of the match. What a well-executed sequence of hits. Again, credit to Acton Boxborough for fighting, but Brookline just strung together one three-hit sequence after the next to keep applying pressure until they got that kill. Sir Purdue, taken by Heitman, set by Pilar, but it's off his hands twice, and it wasn't going to be recovered anyway. Brookline now leads by five here in the first set. Serve Purdue, off the hands of Heitman, chase, not chase down, that's an ace for Purdue. Another timeout called by Acton Boxborough. Brookline off to a great start. And as usual, it is Purdue and Jilek leading the way offensively. And you can see the energy being brought by the Brookline players. The guys off the bench, even uh, the fans out here in Acton, obviously the the fans are uh, the Acton Boxboro fans, gonna outnumber the Brookline fans out here in Acton. But the Brookline fans still bringing the noise early in this round of 16 contest. Brookline's motor firing on all cylinders right now as they lead by six coming out of this timeout. Serve Purdue sails long this time. Now it will be the Acton Boxborough setter, number 10, Parth Pawar, on serve for the Revolution. Serve taken by Vivars, set by Smagula. Spike Vivars sails long, no deflection. Back to back Brookline errors, starting to open the door a bit for Acton Boxborough. Sir Pawar taken by Vivars, set by Smagula. Spike Jilek is blocked by Lucas Tam. Three unanswered points from the Revolution. Serve taken by Vivar, set by Smagula. Jilek spike perfect this time. Almost blocked by Tam, but couldn't get the angle. 
as Jilek collects his third kill of the match thus far. Brookline trying to recapture their momentum. Amir Tomer back on serve. Serve taken by Mormon, set by Pilar. Spike Tam deflected, taken by Vivars, but back over on one. Taken by Vasadeo, set by Pilar. Heitman the spike. And it's Heitman with another kill. Heitman leads all hitters with four kills thus far. Lucas Tam now going on serve. His team trails by three. Serve taken by Vivars, bumped by Smagula, spike by Jilek, taken by Tam, set by Pawar, spike by Heitman, taken by Smagula, set by Tomer, Jilek, roll shot perfectly placed into no man's land. Put some top spin on that roll shot to drop it perfectly in the bucket for Jilek's fourth kill. Some brief huddles while uh, the towel is tossed out to mop things up. It is the hot and humid time of year here in June, and gyms get hotter and humider. Serve Jilek off the net cord for an ace. Second ace of the day for Jilek. This serve dug out awkwardly, but followed up by Tam. Roll shot by Mormon, taken by Vivar, set by Smagula. Quick spike by Ellis Cowan. We've got a delayed call uh, against Acton Boxborough. The point does go to Brookline. And Chilek foot faults. He does that running, jumping serve, and if his toe goes over that back line, then that is a foot fault. So that will give it back to the revolution. Vasudeo now on serve. Serve taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Vivars taps it right down. No, an illegal, an illegal cupping of the ball on that hit there. And so that violation is going to give the point to Acton Boxborough. Samir Vasudeo back on serve for the Revolution. Serve taken by Vivar, set by Smagula. Quick spike by Ellis Cowan. A little bit of confusion with the scoreboard there for a second, but ultimately that is the first kill of the day for Ellis Cowan as Brookline goes up by five. Serve by Vars, taken by Vasudeo, set by Pawar. Spike off the net cord, somehow dug out by Jilek. But a violation, a double hit they call against Vivars for the illegal set. So almost a kill for Nala Genugari, but not quite. Heitman now on serve. Brookline leads by four here in the first set. Serve taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Pushed over by Jilek, taken by Vasudeo, set by Pilar, Spike Tam right down the pipe for a kill. Lucas Tam, his second kill of the day thus far. Heitman on serve, 18 to 15, the Brookline lead here in set number one. Serve taken awkwardly by Purdue. Diving hit by Smagula and a desperate bump over by Traub. Taken by Vasudeo, set by Pawar. Nala Genugari taps it over and perfectly placed by Nala Genugari for his second kill. Eighteen to sixteen. Heitman the serve taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Spike Purdue sails. Went for the roll shot, but just a little too much lift on that one. It is a one point set now.
serve taken by Purdue. Set Smagula, spike Purdue. It sails long again. Back to back hitting errors make it a tie game here in set number one, 18 all. Heitman serve taken again by Purdue, set by Smagula, spike Cowan. Ellis Cowan gives Brookline back the lead with his second kill. Almost blocked by Nala Genugari, but too much of a downward trajectory there. Rowan Miller subs in to take the serve for the Warriors. Serve taken by Tam, it's over on one. A battle at the net, and it's won by Brookline as Pawar reached over. The battle was going to be won by Declan DeYoung anyhow, but it is a violation that gets the point. Serve off the net court, but a diving dig by Vasadeo, set by Pawar, tap over by Heitman. Nick Heitman having an excellent first set. He's got five kills already after dropping that one in the bucket. 20 to 19. On serve now is Mormon. Serve taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Purdue, the spike off the hands of Heitman, followed up by Mormon, bumped over by Tam. Taken by Jilek, set by Smagula. DeYoung, the spike blocked, recovered by Smagula, and desperately bumped over by Traub. Taken by Vasadeo, set by Pawar. Spike Tam, blocked, but blocked wide. I think Brookline was trying to argue a touch of the net or something there, but... Not an argument they won as Tam is credited with his third block of the match thus far and we're tied at 20 apiece. Mormon serve taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. Purdue the spike blocked but Purdue recovers, followed up by Tomer, tap over by Purdue, taken by Heitman, set by Pawar. Spike Tam is blocked, recovered by Vasadeo, set by Pawar. Nala Genugari spike dug out by Traub, kept alive by Purdue, desperately hit, but they could not get it over. Acton Boxborough now with the lead at 21 to 20, and a timeout is called now by Brookline. Brookline led by as many as six earlier in this set. Now Acton Boxborough with a one point lead. We got another note in the live chat from Maria Nobrega. Very simple, go Warriors. Thanks for tuning in, Maria. What a hard fought match thus far. Unofficial stats for Brookline, Cam Jilek leading the way with four kills and two aces. Charlie Perdue, three kills, one ace. Ellis Cowan, two kills. Chris Stapps Vivars, one kill, one block. For Acton Boxborough, five kills from Nick Heitman, three kills and one block from Lucas Tam, two kills from Sai Nala Genugari, and one ace from Jake Mormon. Out of the timeout, it's a 21 to 20 lead for Acton Boxborough here in the first set. Mormon serve off the net court, but dug out by Traub. Set by Smagula, spike by Jilek, dug out by Heitman, set by Pawar, tap over by Tam, kept alive by Jilek, bumped by DeYoung and bumped over by Traub. Taken by Vasadeo, set by Pawar, spike Heitman, taken by Traub and over on one. Taken by Tam, set by Pawar, spike Tam, Taken by Tomer off the ceiling, followed up, could not be, could not be got over, and that's going to be another point for the Revolution. 22 to 20. Critical point coming here. Mormon serve taken by Traub, set by Smagula, spike by DeYoung! Declan DeYoung with his first kill and a big one to close the gap back to one point.
Serve Smagula, taken by Heitman, set Pilar. Uh, tap over by Tam, taken by Smagula, set by Tomer, punched over by Jilek, taken by Vasadeo, set Pilar, knowledge and Ugari taps it, and he gets the kill. Jilek was diving for it, but DeYoung got his fingertips on it. And the miscommunication results in the third kill of the day for Sai Nala Genugari. Acton Boxborough two points away from taking this first set. On serve now is Iglesias. Serve taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. Jilek winds and fires and kills. Jilek lining up as the outside hitter that time. Most of this season he's been lining up as the right side hitter, but that time came from the out from the left side for his fifth kill thus far. Purdue on serve. 23 to 22, the Acton Boxborough lead. Huge point coming here. Serve taken by Heitman, set by Pilar. Spike Tam blocked, but recovered. Followed up by Pilar. Spike Heitman taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Vivar is the spike dug out by Vasudeo, set by Pilar, running spike, Mormon taken by Smagula, set by Tomer, Jilek the spike, well placed by Cam Jilek. All tied up at 23 apiece, Jilek with six kills. The deficit, the difference in this set is going to end at two points. It is guaranteed at this point. We are effectively at deuce here at 23 apiece. Serve Purdue, off the hands of Tam, could not be followed up. Big ace from Charlie Purdue, it is now set point for Brookline. Twenty-four to twenty-three, Purdue serving for the set now. Serve, taken by Mormon, set by Pilar, Spike. It was deflected, that's a good kill. We're tied up again at 24. The kill collected by number 23, Hamilton Fong. Serve now coming from Pilar. Taken by Vivars, set Smagula. Jilek, is, it's recovered by Tam, followed up by Pilar. Pushed over by Heitman, taken by Tomer. Set by Smagula, Vivars! A laser from Chris Stapps, Vivars. Brookline back at set point. Vivars, his second kill. Amir Tomer now serving for the set. And it's juggled, but they get it over. Taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. Spike Jilek, down the line, perfect! Brookline takes the first set. Cam Jilek records his seventh kill of that first set. A master class from the senior co-captain as Brookline narrowly takes the first set of the match, 26 to 24. Are you excited yet, folks? Are you not entertained? This is playoff volleyball. Unofficial stats through the first set. Cam Jilek leading Brookline with seven kills and two aces. Charlie Perdue, three kills and two aces. Chris Stapps Vivars, two kills, one block. Ellis Cowan, two kills. Declan DeYoung, one kill. For Acton Boxborough, Nick Heitman leading the way with five kills. Lucas Tam with three kills and one block. Sai Nala Genugari with three kills. Hamilton Fong with one kill and Jake Mormon with one ace. Some more notes in the live chat from Khalid. Let's go boys and from Craig Chin, let's go two more sets. Brookline trying to get the upset here as the 11th seed. Acton Boxborough trying to take care of business at home as the sixth seed.
two teams coming back out onto the floor for set number two. Brookline with a one set to nothing lead here in this first to three best of five match. We needed extra points in that first one. Sets, of course, first to 25, but must win by two, which is why Brookline needed 26 points to take that first set, 26 to 24. Brookline coming back uh, onto the floor with a rotation of Purdue, Jilek, Smagula, Vivars, De Young, and Cowan. One of them will be subbing out for the Libro, Amir Tomer. For Acton Boxborough, we see Hamilton Fong, Lucas Tam, Nick Heitman, Samir Vasudeo, Jake Mormon, and Parth Pawar. Acton Boxborough to get the first serve here in the second set. It is Parth Pawar lining up to get us started. One set to none, the Brookline lead. We begin the second set. Here we go. Pawar's serve, taken by Vivars, set by Smagula. Spike Vivars, deflected, deflected again, and they're not going to dig that one out. First point goes to Brookline as Vivars collects his third kill of the match thus far. Tomer, the serve. Dug out by Vasudeo, followed up by Pawar, and bumped over by Tam, taken by Purdue, set by Smagula, Spike Jilek, dug out by Mormon, set by Pawar, Spike Heitman. Nick Heitman, back in action for the Revolution. He's now got six kills today. Lucas Tam now on serve for Acton Boxborough. Serve off the fingertips of Purdue, followed up by Smagula and bumped over by Purdue, but it sails long. Tam back on serve. This one taken by Vivar, set by Smagula. Spike Jilek is going to sail again. Back-to-back -back errors from Brookline. Gives Acton Boxborough the early three to one lead. Serve Tam taken by Purdue, followed up awkwardly by Smagula, punched over by Vivars, taken by Vasudeo, set by Pawar, spike by Fong. No deflection missed long. It'll be Jilek on serve. Serve taken, set by Pawar. Spike Heitman somehow dug out and sent over on one by Purdue. Taken by Vasudeo, set by Pawar. Spike Mormon blocked. Alex Magula with the block. All tied up at three apiece. Jilek's serve taken, set by Pawars. Tap over by Fong, tapped back down by Ellis Cowan with another block. Back to back blocks for Brookline. As Cowan now has his first. Four to three, the Brookline advantage. Another serve from Jilek, sails long this time. Good last second watch by Vasudeo to let that one fly out. And we're tied up at four. Vasudeo now on serve. Serve taken by Purdue, set by Smagula, Spike Cowan! Well timed by the middle blocker there, Ellis Cowan with his third kill of the match thus far.
Serve by Vars, taken by Vasadeo, uh, set by Pilar. Spike Heitman is a good kill there. The, the two teams trading haymakers early here in the second set as Heitman collects his seventh kill as he leads Acton Boxborough and is tied with Jilek for the most kills so far in this match. Heitman now on serve, taken by Purdue, set by Smagula, Spike Purdue, sails long, no deflection. Acton Boxborough now up one, serve Heitman into the net. Squared up at six apiece. Rowan Miller checks in for Brookline, as does Declan DeYoung. Miller will be on serve. Off the net court, but dug out by Tam, set by Pawar. Tap over, drops perfectly off the hand of, U of Obi Ume. Seven to six, the Revolution lead. Mormon now on serve. Serve taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Spike DeYoung! Declan DeYoung through the blocker's hands for his second kill. Knotted up at seven. Smagula, the serve taken by Heitman, set by Pilar. Knowledge and Ugari, the spike. They're trying to keep it alive. Can they? They can. Taken by Vasadeo, set by Pilar. Tap over by Tam. Tomer couldn't keep that one alive. And despite the valiant efforts from Brookline, Lucas Tam does end up with his fourth kill of the match thus far. Iglesias now checks in for the Revolution to take this serve. Serve taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Roll shot, Jilek taken by Iglesias, set by Pilar, Spike Tam. Desperately kept alive, tapped down by DeYoung, taken by Iglesias, set Pilar, tap over by Tam, taken by Jilek, set by Smagula, tap over by Purdue, and taken by Iglesias, set by Pilar, pushed over by Heitman, set to take it by Traub, set Smagula, spike blocked, recovered by Smagula, followed up by Tomer, pushed over by Jilek, but pushed illegally. What a rally that one was, but ultimately an illegal hit is what ends it. Iglesias back on serve. Serve taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Jilek the spike. A laser from Jilek. Finally gets his first kill of this second set. That is eight for the match so far. Charlie Perdue on serve, just waiting a second for Vivars to tie his shoe. Serve taken by Heitman, set by Pilar, Spike Tam. Lucas Tam gets Acton Boxborough right back on serve with his fifth kill of the match thus far. 10 to eight, the Revolution lead here in set number two. Pilar back on serve, taken by Vivar, set by Smagula. Spike Jilek! When they set up Jilek perfectly like that, how could you possibly stop him? Nine kills so far for the senior co-captain. Set 
serve by Tomer, taken by Vasudeo, kept alive by Pilar, but Pilar touched the net. Just like that. All knotted up at 10 apiece. Tomer, another serve taken by Mormon, but could not be followed up. Amir Tomer with his first ace of the day. Brookline now up by one. Tomer serve taken by Mormon, set by Pilar. Spike Tam blocked but recovered. Mormon bumps it and it's bumped over by Pilar. They called four hits. There was a bit of confusion on the count of hits because a couple guys deflected it right after the block. Tomer serve taken by Mormon, set Pilar, Spike Heitman. Right through the blocker's hands. Heitman, his eighth kill of the match so far. 10 now on serve for the Revolution. Taken by Purdue, but not well. That's going to be an ace for Lucas Tam to tie us up at 12. Serve taken by Vivars, but again, the, just the wrong angle. And it's back-to-back -back aces for Lucas Tam. Tam serve taken by Vivars, set by Smagula, Spike Jilek. Pilar tries to get out. Heitman keeps it alive, pushed over by Tam, but illegally. They call the illegal double hit on Tam. And so we're all squared at 13. Jilek now on serve for the Warriors. And that serve right into the net. There haven't been too many service errors between either team so far. But now Vasudeo on serve for Acton Boxborough. Serve taken by Purdue, sets Magula, and tapped over by Cowan, but they managed to punch it over. Taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. Spike Vivars is blocked. Looks like it was either Heitman or Nala Genugari. I think it was Heitman. And so it'll be 15-13. Serve taken by Purdue. Chased down by Smagula. Punched over by Jilek. Taken by Vasudeo. Bumped by Pawar. Heitman spikes it. Dug out by Tomer. Followed up and desperately bumped over by Smagula. Taken by Vasudeo. Set by Pawar. Spike by Mormon. Taken by Jilek. Bumped by Smagula. Spike by Vars. Sails long. Strong rally there from both sides, but ultimately Brookline made the first mistake. Acton Boxbro starting to open up a lead here. They are now up by three, 16 to 13. Vasudeo the serve taken by Traub, sets Magula, Spike Cowan. Ellis Cowan out of the middle once again. He's got four kills so far today. Serve now from Traub, taken by Vasudeo. Set Pawar. Nala Genugari tries to tap it. It was blocked, but he got it over. Taken by Purdue. Set Smagula. Tap over by Purdue. Perfect angle. Purdue sometimes goes for these hits that aren't quite spikes, but aren't quite taps either. They look almost like like he's going for a sky hook in basketball. This serve taken by Vasudeo, set by Pilar. Spike Heitman, dug out by Jilek, chased down, awkward hit, but Traub bumps it over. 
Taken by Vasudeo, set by Poar. Spike knowledge and Ugari blocked by Cowan, but recovered by Poar. Followed up by Tam. Spike by Heitman, taken by Jilek. Bumped by Smagula. Spiked over by Purdue. Taken by Vasudeo, set by Poar. Tap over by Heitman. Taken by Cowan, set by Smagula. Spike Purdue. Charlie Purdue gets the kill to tie us up at 16. Five kills now for Purdue as he had back-to-back -back big kills there. <coughs> Traub the serve taken by Tam, set by Pawar. Spike knowledge and Ugari dug out somehow and Tomer bumps it over, taken by Pawar, followed up by Vasudeo. Tap over and it's a weird receive. They're not gonna get it. That one went off the face of Amir Tomer but it was a hitting error ultimately that got the point for Acton Boxborough. Heitman now going on serve. His team leads by one here in the second set. Taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Tap over by Cowan, dug out by Tam, set by Pawar. Tapped over, taken by Jilek, set by Smagula. Spike Purdue off the net court, taken by Heitman. Set by Pawar. Ume taps it over again. This time deflected the wrong way off the blocker's hands. That'll be another kill for OB Ume. That is his second. The, the revolution up by two. Heitman serve taken by Purdue. Set by Smagula. Long spike Jilek taken by Tam, set by Pawar. Spike Heitman, another kill for Nick Heitman. Acton Boxborough now leads by three as Heitman collects his ninth kill so far as a timeout is called by Brookline. Unofficial stats so far for Acton Boxborough. Nick Heitman with nine kills and one block. Lucas Tam, five kills, two aces, one block. Sai Nalajenugari with three kills. Obi Ume with two kills. Hamilton Fong with one kill. And Jake Mormon with one ace. For Brookline, Cam Jilek with nine kills and two aces. Charlie Perdue, five kills, two aces. Ellis Cowan, four kills, one block. Chris Stapps Vivars, three kills, one block. Declan DeYoung with two kills. Amir Tomer with one ace. And Alex Smagula with one block. Brookline leading the match one set to none, but Acton Boxborough leads by three late in this second set. Heitman the serve taken by Tomer off the net and they tried to keep it alive but they could not. Acton Boxborough with their biggest lead of this second set. They're now up by four. 20 to 16 the score. Heitman the serve taken by Purdue set by Smagula. Sent over by Purdue for the kill. Again going for that that sky hook hit that he likes so much. I, I, I wish I was more knowledgeable of volleyball lingo so I could give a better description of that hit, but that's the best I got. Miller on serve. Taken by Tam, set by Pawar. Ume, the spike, sails long, but it was deflected. Three kills now for Obi Ume. Acton Boxborough, four points away from taking the set. Brookline, four points needed just to tie it. Serve Mormon, sent over on one by Traub, taken by Vasudeo, set by Poir. Spike knowledge and Ugari could not be dug out. 
fourth kill of the match thus far for Sai Nala Genugari. 22 to 17. Serve Mormon. It drops on the line for an ace. Timeout called by Brookline as Jake Mormon records his second ace of the match so far and gives Acton Boxborough a six point lead late here in the first set. Some more notes in the live chat from Jolion Cowan, a heart emoji. And from Yuli Burstein, let's go. Happy to see the fans getting excited and keeping the good vibes going in the live chat. Right now, the hosting revolution on the cusp of tying us up at one set apiece. Up six points here and just two points away from taking the second set. Out of the timeout, Mormon back on serve. Taken by Traub. Set, uh, sent over on two by Smagula. It's taken by Pawar, set by Heitman. Spike Tam placed perfectly for another kill. Lucas Tam with his sixth kill. And a nice assist from Nick Heitman after Pawar was forced to take that first hit in that sequence. Set point now for the Revolution, 24 to 17. Mormon serve off the net court, but dug out by Vivar. Sets Magula, Spike de Young. Brookline not going down without a fight as Declan de Young records his third kill of the match thus far. Serves Magula, taken by Heitman. Set by Pawar, Tam the spike, sails long, no deflection. Brookline with a couple points here. Still set point, serve off the fingertips, but recovered by Mormon and bumped over by Tam. Taken by Vivars, set by Smagula, Jilek the spike. Basadeo followed up by Tam and it's desperately bumped over by Mormon and it could not be dug out. Mormon with the bump kill to end it. Acton Boxborough takes the second set 25 to 19. It looks like Brookline was in control of that point, but Mormon's bump dropped in the middle of the court there and nobody came to it quickly enough. So we are all tied up at one set apiece. Unofficial stats so far. For Brookline, Cam Jilek leads the way with nine kills and two aces. Charlie Perdue, six kills, two aces. Ellis Cowan, four kills, one block. Chris Stapps Vivars, three kills, one block. Declan DeYoung with three kills. Alex Smagula with one block. Amir Tomer with one ace. For Acton Boxborough, Nick Heitman, nine kills, one block. Lucas Tam, six kills, two ace, one block. Sai Nalajenugari with four kills. Obi Ume with three kills. Jake Mormon, one kill, two aces. And Hamilton Fong with one kill.
crucial third set coming up here. I mean, I say that, but every set and every point has proven to be crucial so far in this match. Brookline took set number one, 26 to 24. Acton Boxborough won set number two, 25 to 19. Brookline will be serving first here in this third set as they come out with a lineup of Jilek, Vivars, Cowan, Smagula, Purdue, and Tomer. While Acton Boxbro has Fong, Tam, Pawar, Vasadeo, Heitman, and Mormon. And no, Acton Boxbro is going to have the first serve again here in the first set, so, uh, here in the third set. So I guess they're uh, alternating. I guess, uh, goes Brookline, then Acton Boxbro twice, and then Brookline the next time? I don't know. But either way, Lucas Tam on serve for the Revolution. Wait, what? Serve taken by Vivars, set by Smagula. Roll shot, Jilek, taken by Pawar, followed up by Tam. Pushed over by Heitman, taken by Purdue, set by Smagula, tap over by Cowan, taken by Pawar, followed up by Vasadeo. Spike Heitman deflected, but they could not dig it out. Heitman with another kill, and Acton Boxborough somehow has two points. So there must have been some kind of violation against Brookline that gave them the first, that gave Acton Boxborough the first point of the set, and that's why they were on serve. I don't, I don't know why. But that serve taken by Vivar is set by Smagula. Spike Jilek for the kill. Heitman and Jilek open this third set by each getting their 10th kill of the match so far. Jilek now on serve. Taken by Vasadeo, set by Pawar. Spike Fong. <laughs> Hamilton Fong out of the middle for his second kill. Vasudeo, the serve taken by Vivars, set by Smagula. Spike Vivars, deflected and taken by Pawar, set by Vasudeo. Heitman, the spike, deflected and received by Tomer, followed up by Jilek. Long spike, Purdue misses wide. Acton Boxbro getting out to another strong start here in the third set. Vasudeo the serve, taken by Vivar, set by Smagula, tap over by Cowan, and he misses it wide as Brookline struggling with their hits, missing the rhythm here, and the Revolution taking advantage, 5-1. to one. Serve taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Spike Vivars, dug out by Vasudeo, followed up by Mormon, and bumped over by Pawar. Taken by Purdue, but it's over on one. Spiked back down by Nala Genugari. Five kills now for Sai Nala Genugari, and Brookline looking completely out of sync to start this one. And they will send Charlie Purdue to the bench in exchange for Nico Gutierrez seeing the floor for the first time. Serve from Vasadeo into the net. 
Brookline gets a free point and they'll be trying to take advantage. Vivars now on serve. Serve taken by Tam, set by Pawar. Spike Heitman sails long. This serve taken by Vasudeo, set Pawar, tap by Nala Genugari, could not be recovered. Nala Genugari with his sixth kill now. Subbing in now is Obi Ume for the Revolution as Heitman goes on serve, his team leading by four here in the third set. Serve, sails wide. Rowan Miller subs in along with Declan DeYoung. It'll be Miller on serve. Serve off the fingertips of Asudeo, but kept alive by Tam and bumped over by Heitman. Taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Spike Gutierrez sails way long, not deflected. Another point for Acton Boxborough as they go up by four. Mormon on serve now. Serve taken by Traub, set by Smigula. Spike DeYoung. Declan DeYoung having one of his best days out of the middle. He has now got four kills here in the match. Serve Smigula, taken by Heitman, set Pawar. Spike Knowledge and Ugari dug out and sent over on one. Taken by Heitman, set Pawar. Knowledge and Ugari again could not be stopped this time. Seven kills now for Sai Nala Genugari. Now subbing in is John Iglesias to take the serve for the Revolution. And serve goes into the net. So Brookline gets a bit of a break there as Nico Gutierrez will now be going on serve. Serve taken by Mormon, bumped by Pawar, tapped over by Fong, taken by Smagula, set by Tomer. Jilek, the roll shot taken by Vasadeo, set by Pawar, spike Tam, deflected and dug out by Tomer, set by Smagula. Vivar is the spike. Perfect cross shot from the left side for the kill. Fourth kill for Vivar's. Gutierrez, the serve off the net cord for an ace. Brookline starting to string some points together as Gutierrez has his first ace. Serve taken by Heitman, set Pawar, Spike Tam could not be blocked. Acton Boxbro takes back the serve just before. Brookline could complete their comeback and Tam records his seventh kill. Pawar now on serve. And it could not be dug out. Pawar with his first ace there to put Acton Boxborough back up by three. Or serve taken by Gutierrez, set by Smagula. Vivars the spike through the blocker's hands. Another kill for Kristaps Vivars. Tomer back on serve for the Warriors. 
His serve sent over on one, taken by Tomer, bumped by Smagula, pushed over by Cowan, and he pushed it too far. Tried to go for a bit of a lob shot, and it did not work. Tam now on serve. Taken by Gutierrez, set by Smagula. Jilek the spike. Another kill for Cam Jilek. That is his 11th as Brookline trails by two. He will go on serve. Serve taken by Tam, set by Pawar. Spike Heitman blocked by Vivars, recovered by Fong. Set by Pawar, bumped over by Mormon. Taken by Jilek, set by Smagula. Spike Cowan, dug out by Vasadeo. Set by Pawar. Illegal set by Pawar. Brookline back within one. Serve taken by Vasadeo. Set by Pawar. Spike Mormon deflected. Could not be dug out as Mormon gets the kill. Again, Brookline gets within one but cannot tie it. Second kill of the match for Jake Mormon. Vasudeo the serve into the net. Now Vivar is on serve for Brookline, trailing by one. Serve off the fingertips of Tam. Vasudeo chases it down. Mormon desperately hits it over. It's taken by Vivar, set by Smagula, punched over by Cowan, but taken by Poar. Followed up by Vasudeo, pushed over by Heitman, taken by Jilek, set by Smagula, and it, that one is blocked by Nala Genugari. Once again, Brookline allergic to getting that tying point here in the third set. Heitman going on serve as Traub checks back in for Brookline. Serve taken by Gutierrez, but taken illegally. First ace of the day for Nick Heitman. And Gutierrez subs out as Purdue comes back onto the floor. Serve sails long. Service errors have been Brookline's best friend here in the third set. As they now trail by two, Rowan Miller checks back in to take the serve for Brookline. Serve taken by Tam, set by Vasadeo. Ume the spike, taken awkwardly and desperately bumped over by Purdue. Taken by Vasadeo, set by Pawar. Knowledge and Ugari spike, deflected and taken by DeYoung. Pushed over on two by Smagula. Taken by Heitman, set by Pawar. Spike Ume, taken by Traub. Punched over on two by Smagula. Diving, saved by Pawar. Followed up by Ume and bumped over by Tam. Taken by Jilek, set by Smagula. Purdue the spike for the kill. Great defensive plays on both sides, but ultimately it ends with the seventh kill of the day for Charlie Perdue. Miller the serve, taken by Tam, set by Pawar. Spike Ume blocked, but recovered by Vasudeo. Set by Pawar again. Tap over by Tam, taken by Jilek, set by Smagula. Tap over by Perdue, could not be dug out. Charlie Perdue with a couple of clutch kills again, ties us up at 15, and a timeout is called. Uh, 
Ah, we got uh, we got some helpful notes in the live chat uh, filling me in on what happened with the first point of this set. Uh, from Sammy Green, Jesse, they carded someone on Brookline. That gives the point to Acton Boxborough. And from Kota Sukata, uh, Charlie Purdue kicked the ball across the net after the final point last set, and he got a yellow card. So that's so I missed that. Um, I guess while I was checking my stats or something, but I guess Charlie Perdue uh, was given a yellow card for kicking the ball after the end of the second set, and that gave Acton Boxborough the first point of the third set. Thanks for uh, helping me out, Sammy and Coda, and uh, happy happy to see some familiar names from volleyball years past tuning in and watching here. Fifteen all. Miller, the serve, taken by Vasadeo, set by Pawar. Tap over by Heitman, dug out by Smagula. Purdue diving towards the benches to try and take it, but could not. I think I can give a kill to Heitman on that one. That is number 11 for him. 16 to 15, Acton Boxborough now leads. Mormon back on serve for the Revolution. Serve, taken awkwardly by Purdue, set by Smigula, Spike de Young, deflected and sent right back by Nala Genugari. Heads up swing from Nala Genugari for his eighth kill of the match thus far. 17 to 15, Acton Boxborough leads as slight interference as a, as a ball slid onto the court. Serve Mormon off the fingertips of Traub. Purdue chasing after it, and Traub bumps it over. Taken by Vasudeo, set by Poar. Spike Tam, blocked, sent back, sent back. Taken by Mormon, set by Poar. Spike Heitman off the net cord, could not be dug out. Twelve kills now for Nick Heitman. Acton Boxborough up by three. Vivars checks back in for Brookline, replacing Traub. Serve from Mormon into the net. Now Smagula back on serve. Taken by Heitman, set Pawar, Spike Tam. Another kill for Lucas Tam. That is eight for Tam so far. 19-16, the Revolution lead here in the third set. Iglesias the serve, taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. And a spike by Purdue, kept in play by Mormon, followed up by Poar, tap over by Tam, taken by Smagula, set by Tomer. Spike Purdue, taken by Heitman, set by Poar, spike Tam blocked, but recovered by Poar, followed up by Mormon. Spike by Heitman, taken by Smagula, set by Tomer, tapped over by Jilek, taken by Heitman, set by Poar, tap over by Tam, taken by Jilek, set by Smagula, spike Vivars. Taken by Mormon, set by Pawar. Spike Tam blocked again, but blocked wide. A wild rally there, but it ends in the ninth kill of the day for Lucas Tam. Big point get for Acton Boxborough as Brookline calls timeout. Acton Boxborough in every aspect except serving has just been executing so much sharper than Brookline. And it shows in how Acton Boxborough holds the lead even despite all the service errors they've had throughout this third set.
Oh. Unofficial stats so far for Acton Boxborough. Heitman, 12 kills, one ace, one block. Tam, nine kills, two aces, one block. Nala Genugari, eight kills, one block. Um, Mormon, two kills, two aces. Ume, three kills. Uh, Fong, two kills, and Pawar, one ace. As they now lead 20 to 16, Iglesias back on serve. Serve taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. Spike Jilek deflected but taken by Mormon. Awkwardly off the ceiling, it's taken by Iglesias and pushed over by Heitman. Taken by Vivar, sets Smagula. Spike DeYoung, perfectly placed by Declan DeYoung. That'll be his fifth kill of the match so far. Purdue now on serve for Brookline. Serve taken by Mormon, set by Pawars. Tap over by Tam, deflected, kept alive, and pushed over by Smagula. Taken by Mormon, set by Pawar. Tap over by Fong, taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. Spike by Vivars. Had a little top spin on that one to make sure it dropped perfectly as Vivars gets his sixth kill of the match. Brookline now trails by two. Serve Purdue, sails long. Tough time for a service error as now the Revolution lead by three. Pawar on serve for er, Acton Boxborough. Serve taken by Vivar, set by Smagula. Jilek the spike. Another kill for Jilek. Brookline right back on serve following Jilek's 12th kill. Tomer on serve. Taken by Mormon, set by Poir. Spike Heitman blocked! Ellis Cowan with a huge thunderous block out of the middle. His second block of the day makes this a one point contest and Acton Boxborough calls timeout. Brookline on a four to one run right now to cut this one close. Another note in the live chat from G.A. Gutierrez. Go Warriors, cheers from Phoenix. Happy to see you tuning in from the western half of the nation there. As Brookline is giving this one a fight. Unofficial stats for Brookline thus far. Cam Jilek, 12 kills, two aces. Charlie Perdue, eight kills, two aces. Chris Stapps, Vivar, six kills, one block. Declan DeYoung, five kills. Ellis Cowan, four kills, two blocks. Nico Gutierrez with one ace. Alex Magula with one block. As Brookline trying to come back here in this third set, they trail 21 to 20. Amir Tomer on serve. Up and over it goes, taken by Vasadeo, bumped by Pawar. Long spike Mormon, taken by Purdue. Off the net, they could not keep it alive. <laughs> 22 to 20. As Mormon gets his third kill there. Serve now from Tam, taken by Vivars, set by Smagula, spike Jilek. Get out of his way. Cam Jilek, lucky number 13th kill to cut it back to a one point game. Jilek the serve, taken by Vasadeo, set by Poars. Tap over by Heitman. They kept it alive and bumped it over. Taken by Vasadeo, set by Poar. Spike by Mormon off the net court, but taken by Cowan. Spike by Smagula on two. What an effort. Alex Smagula with his first kill on the on two hit there. 
off the desperate dig by Cowan after the previous desperate dig right at floor level by Tomer and Smagula. Jai like the serve, taken by Vasudeo, followed up by Pawar off the ceiling. It has to be bumped over by Mormon. Drops wide. Brookline takes the lead. 23 to 22. Huge point coming here. Jilek back on serve. Serve off the net court, dug out by Tam. Set by Pawar, tap over, blocked. Recovered by Pawar, followed up by Vasudeo. Another spike from Heitman, dug out by Jilek. Set by Smagula, spike by Vars. Could not be dug out. Brookline has set point as Vivares collects his seventh kill of the match. 24 to 22. Jilek serving for the set. And it sails long. This point, if Brookline takes it, they win the set. If Acton Boxborough takes it, we effectively go to Deuce. Vasudeo the serve, taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Vivars ends it! Chris Stepps, Vivars, another huge spike, his eighth kill, and Brookline goes up two sets to one. What a huge comeback by Brookline. They got out of the gate so poorly. It was like a seven to one lead by the Revolution early in that third set. And then of course, the Revolution had a lead of 20 to 16 late in that set. But Brookline kept fighting and managed to claw their way to a 25-23 win in that third set. Brookline one set away from getting the upset win. At this juncture, I'd like to take a moment for a local charity spotlight. I'd like to tell you about the Brookline Education Foundation. The Brookline Education Foundation raises funds to help promote growth and innovation among Brookline educators, growth that can then be passed on to the children of this community. For over 40 years, this foundation has given out a variety of grants across the, the educational landscape. These include Idea Lab grants for teachers that want to present their students with new and exciting projects, and teacher grants for educators that want to further develop their own skills to bring to the classroom. Many initiatives which have become staples in the public schools of Brookline started as BEF grants. They support literacy education training, new methods in STEM education, project-based learning, mentoring of new principals and superintendents, and collaborative work around diversity, equity, and inclusion just to name a few. Visit brooklinefoundation.org or call 617-232-3846 to find out how you can help support our town's educators and through them, our students. Once again, that's brooklinefoundation.org or call 617-232-3846. And remember, as always, you can see all the information you need about our local charity spotlight in the description section down below. Some more notes in the live chat from Claire's Picks. Let's go Brookline from Jolion Cowan. Go Brookline. And from Vanessa Trien. Go Brookline. That was an awesome, exciting comeback. Woohoo! Keep it up. The Brookline fans getting excited. We now get ready to begin the fourth set. If Brookline wins this set, they win the match and advance to the round of eight. If Acton Boxborough wins this set, we go to a do-or-die fifth set. Ready? 
It'll be Parth Pawar getting us started as Acton Boxbro takes the first set, first serve of this fourth set. Here we go. Serve taken awkwardly by Vivars, but bumped by Smagula. The spike was blocked. Hamilton Fong with the block for Acton Boxbro as an awkward service return prevented Brookline from setting that up properly. Pawar the serve taken by Vivar, set by Smagula, spike Jilek. Jilek feeling the rhythm here in this round of 16 match. 14th kill of the match so far. Remember, he had 16 to lead the team in the round of 32 against Revere on the cusp of matching that number. Amir Tomer the serve, taken by Mormon, set by Pawar, Spike Tam, blocked. No, not blocked. It wasn't blocked, so they called the fourth hit. Did not get over the net. Serve Tomer, dug out, set by Pawar, Spike Tam, this time blocked. Ellis Cowan again. What a day for the senior middle blocker. Four kills and three blocks so far. Three to one, the early lead for Brookline. Tomer's serve taken by Mormon, set by Pilar. Another spike by Tam. This one good for a kill. Lucas Tam reaches double figures with his 10th kill of the match so far, and he now goes on serve. Serve taken awkwardly by Purdue, and that's going to be an ace. Third ace of the day for Lucas Tam as he ties us up at three apiece. Serve taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Spike Jilek, another kill for Cam Jilek. Boy, when you see him jump and, you know, just wind up for that, you know it's going to be a laser. Serve from Jilek, sails long. The service error ties us back up at four. Samir Vasadeo on serve for the Revolution. Taken by Purdue, set Smagula, tap over by Cowan, dug out by Heitman, followed up by Mormon, sent over by Tam, taken by Jilek, set by Smagula, spike by Vivars. No deflection, it goes long. Vasudeo's serve off the net court, but dug out by Purdue. Set by Smagula. Tap over by Vivars. Blocked wide. <laughs> Tied up at five apiece as Vivars gets his ninth kill. Vivars on serve. Taken by Tam. Set by Poar. Spike Heitman. <laughs> Could not be stopped. The lefty launches another one as Heitman now has his 13th kill. Heitman follows that up by going on serve. His team leading by one. Serve taken by Tomer, set by Smagula, sent into the net by Purdue. A rare spike error from Charlie Perdue. Heitman the serve, taken by Perdue, set by Smagula, sent over by Cowan, taken by Tam, set by Pawar. Obi Ume taps it over. Ume, his fourth kill of the match. Acton Boxboro leads by three.
Heitman serve taken by Tomer, set by Smagula, Spike Jilak, and Vasadeo could not dig that one out. Kill number 16 for Cam Jilak. He has matched his totals from the round of 32 match against Revere. Rowan Miller serve taken by Tam, set by Pawar. Spike knowledge and Ugari was blocked but recovered. And it's bumped back over by Pawar, taken by Traub, sets Magula. Spike de Young deflected and dug out by Pawar. Tam follows up, pushed over, but dug out by de Young, followed up by Jilek and bumped over by Purdue. Taken by Tam, set Pawar. Knowledge and Ugari blocked by de Young, but dug out by Vasadeo, followed up Pawar. Spike Tam, taken by Miller, awkwardly off the pipes, been bumped over by de Young, taken by Tam. Set by Pawar, Spike Heitman sails. Great effort from so many, but ultimately someone had to get the point and it was Brookline. Eight to seven now. Miller's serve sails long. A rare service error from Rowan Miller. Trying to do a little too much with a harder serve there as he and Ellis Cowan now check out. Mormon now on serve for Acton Boxborough. Serve taken by Tomer, set by Traub, punched over by Smagula, taken by Heitman, set by Pawar, Spike Tam could not be dug out. Lucas Tam now with 11 kills. The Revolution lead by three. Mormon serve sales. Those service errors proved costly to Acton Boxborough in the third set. Smagula serves this one, taken by Heitman, set Pawar. Spike knowledge in Ugari, taken by Tra, but could not be followed up. Ninth kill for knowledge in Ugari. Vivar subs back in for Traub. Acton Boxborough leads by three here in the fourth set. as Brookline gets a towel to wipe down a wet spot on their side of the floor. Surface for the most part staying dry. Serve from Iglesias, T sent over on one by Tomer, taken by Heitman, set by Pawar, Spike Fong blocked by DeYoung, but recovered. Spike Tam, taken by Vivars, Spike right back by Fong. <laughs> Hamilton Fong with his third kill so far. Serve Iglesias. Taken by Vivar, set Smagula, Spike Jilek dug out by Heitman, followed up by Iglesias, bumped over by Tam, taken by Vivar, set by Smagula, awkward pushover by Purdue, kept alive by Iglesias and Pawar, bumped over by Tam, taken by DeYoung, tapped by Smagula, Spike DeYoung, another kill for Declan DeYoung. Six kills so far for DeYoung. Brookline trails by three. Purdue on serve. Serve taken by Heitman, set by Pawar. Spike Tam could not be dug out. Another kill for Lucas Tam. He's got 12. Pawar back on serve. It's taken by Vivars. Sets Magula. Jilek again. <laughs> 17 kills for the Brookline senior co captain. Yeah. 
Served by Tomer, taken by Mormon, set by Pilar, tap over by Tam. Caught by Vars stepping back to receive that one. And so he could not recover and go forward. 13 kills now for Lucas Tam. Acton Boxborough back up by four. Tam serve taken by Vivar, set by Smagula. Spike Jilek deflected, taken by Vasadeo. Followed up by Pawar. Spike Heitman is blocked, recovered by Fong, set by Pawar. Tap over by Mormon, dug out by Smagula. Off the pipes, though. Four kills now for Mormon with a little bit of help from the pipes that time. Tam served, taken by Vivars, bumped by Jilek, pushed over by Smagula, taken by Pawar, set by Vasadeo, Spike Heitman blocked! Good block that time. I couldn't tell if it was Vivars or Cowan. So for now, I'll just give them each half a block. Jilek serve into the net. Brookline trails again by five. Brookline's going to need another big comeback if they're going to take this set. Otherwise, we will be going to a fifth set. Vasadeo serve taken by Purdue. Chased down by Smagula. Bumped over by Jilek. Taken by Tam, set Pilar, Spike Mormon, and it hits the pole, so that's gonna be a violation point to Brookline. By Vars, the serve taken by Tam, set by Pilar, Spike Heitman taken by Jilek, set by Smagula, Spike Purdue taken by Tam, set by Pilar. Desperately bumped over by Vasadeo, spiked back on one by Smagula, but it's taken by Tam, set Pilar, tap over by Heitman, taken by Tomer. Battle at the net is won by Nala Chinugari. Tenth kill for Sai Nala Genugari. 17 to 12, Heitman back on serve. Taken by Tomer, set by Purdue, and awkwardly bumped over by Jilek and it's sent wide. Just a bit of confusion there. And we've got a sub coming in for Jilek for Brookline. This is number 24, Andrew Bacon. A defensive specialist coming in for the man who has been Brookline's strongest hitter. Might just be trying to give him a bit of a breather here. Serve from Heitman, taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Spike Cowan could not be stopped. Ellis Cowan out of the middle for his fifth kill. Now subbing in is Miller to take the serve. And he sends it right into the net. Acton Boxborough back up by six. Mormon on serve. Serve taken awkwardly, followed up by Smagula, and has to be bumped over by Tomer amidst confusion. Taken by Heitman, set by Pawar, Spike Tam deflected, and Bacon couldn't follow it up. Another kill for Lucas Tam as a timeout is called by Brookline. 
as Acton Boxborough with what I believe is the biggest lead in any set so far. They're up seven, 20 to 13, trying to force a fifth set. Now, for any of you who might be new to watching high school volleyball, if we go to a fifth set, it's going to be a little different. These first four sets have all been first to 25, win by two. If we go to a fifth set, it'll be first to 15, win by two. Important difference there. Back out of the timeout we come. Acton Boxborough five points away from forcing a fifth set. Brookline seven points away from tying Acton Boxborough's mark. Serve Mormon into the net. Alex Magula now on serve for Brookline. Taken off the fingertips of Heitman, followed up by Vasudeo. Desperately pushed over by Heitman, taken by Traub, sets Magula. Spike was blocked by Nala Genugari. Second block of the day for Nala Genugari. And we got another new face checking in for Brookline, number no, they're not allowing the substitution. John Iglesias now on serve for the Revolution. 21 to 14 the score. This one taken by Purdue, set by Smigula. Jilek back on the floor, he spikes it and he blocks that one. Cam Jilek back on the floor with a strong spike and then a block against Poir's attempt to push it over. Actually, I think I might call that a, a kill instead of a block. It's, it's, it's hard to say. Actually, I think I'll call it a block. Again, these are unofficial stats. Serve Purdue taken by Heitman, set Poir, spike Tam. Lucas Tam has been on fire this set. He's now got 15 kills. He now leads the team as the team leads by seven. And a timeout called by Brookline. Unofficial stats for Acton Boxborough, Lucas Tam, 15 kills, three aces, one block. Nick Heitman, 13 kills, one ace, one block. Sai Nala Genugari with 10 kills and two blocks. Uh, Jake Mormon with four kills and two aces. Obi Ume with four kills. Hamilton Fong with three kills and one block. Parth Pawar with one ace. For Brookline, Cam Jilek, 17 kills, two aces, one block. Chris Stapps, five R's, nine kills, one and a half blocks. Charlie Perdue, eight kills, two aces. Ellis Cowan, five kills, three and a half blocks. Declan DeYoung, six kills. Alex Magula, one kill, one block. Amir Tomer and Nico Gutierrez with one ace each. Pawar's serve taken by Vivar, set by Smagula, Spike Jilek. <laughs> Jilek with kill number 18 by my count. Amir Tomer on serve. Taken by Mormon, 
set by Pilar. Spike Tam could not be blocked. Chilek didn't have the angle for the block there, and Lucas Tam continues to just be on fire here in this fourth set. 23 to 16. Tam serve taken awkwardly, somehow dug, not dug out. They say an illegal hit on somebody. And so that's going to put Acton Boxborough at set point here at 24 to 16. Obi Ume checks back in, replacing Mormon. Serve Tam, taken by Vivar, set Smagula, spike Cowan, but a f they say Cowan touched the net, or it was a double hit or something, some kind of violation on Brookline, gives the set to Acton Boxborough. We will have a fifth set here in Acton, Massachusetts. The fourth set final, 25 to 16 in favor of Acton Boxborough. Get ready, folks. We are going to have a do or die fifth set, first to 15, win by two. The winner moves on to the state quarterfinals. Unofficial stats so far. First for Acton Boxbro, Lucas Tam, who absolutely came alive in that fourth set. He has now got 16 kills, three aces, and one block. Nick Heitman with 13 kills, one ace, and one block. Sai Nala Janugari with 10 kills and two blocks. Jake Mormon with four kills and two aces. Obi Ume with four kills. Hamilton Fong with three kills and one block, and Parth Pawar with one ace. For Brookline, Cam Jilek with 18 kills, two aces, and one block. Kristaps uh, Vivars with nine kills, one and a half blocks. Charlie Perdue with eight kills and two aces. Declan DeYoung with six kills. Ellis Cowan with five kills and three and a half blocks. Alex Magula with one kill and one block. And Nico Gutierrez and Amir Tomer with one ace each. Fifth set, do or die. First to 15, the winner takes all and moves on to the round of eight. For Brookline, it's Jilek Vivars, Cowan, 
Purdue, Smagula, and I assume DeYoung is going to sub out for Tomer. For Acton Boxborough, we've got Fong, Tam, Pilar, Mormon, Heitman, and Vasadeo. Brookline will get first serve here in the fifth and final set. Amir Tomer to start us off. Here we go. Serve taken by Mormon, set by Pilar, Spike Tam taken by Tomer, set by Smagula, Spike Vivars deflected, could not be dug out. Brookline with the first point of the fifth set as Vivars reaches double figures with his 10th kill of the match. Serve taken by Vasadeo, set by Pilar, tap blocked. Recovered by Tam, set by Pilar, spike deflected, taken by Tomer, set by Smagula, tap over by Vivars, perfectly placed. Chris Steps, Vivars coming up clutch to start the fifth set. Brookline up two to nothing. Serve, taken by Vasadeo, set by Pilar, Tam the spike into the net. And a quick timeout called by Acton Boxborough as Brookline jumps out to an early lead here in set number five. Chris Stapps Vivar is now with 11 kills in this match as he comes up big with the first couple of points there. And then an uncharacteristic mistake from Lucas Tam who was absolutely unstoppable in that fourth set, carrying Acton Boxborough on his back into this fifth set. Right now, Brookline leads three to nothing. Served by Tomer, taken by Heitman, set by Pilar. Heitman, the spike, is kept alive. Bouncing, and they could not bump it over. Impressive effort by Smagula off the net to try and keep that one alive, but after the weird bounce off the... Uh, off the metal poles in the ceiling, and then it landing so close to the net, there was no way they were going to get that one over. Lucas Tam now on serve. Taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Jilek winds and fires, dug out by Tam, bumped by Pilar. Spike Heitman deflected, taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. Spike Vivars taken by Vasadeo, set by Pilar, pushed over by Heitman. Taken by Purdue, set by Smagula. Spike Jilek dug out by Pawar, followed up Vasadeo, and Ume couldn't get it over. Just didn't have the angle that time. Brookline back on serve with a four to one lead. Jilek on serve for the Warriors. Serve right into the net. Didn't catch that one with the palm, caught it more with the fingertips. Vasudeo now on serve for the Revolution. Taken by Purdue, sets Magula. Cowan! Ellis Cowan with his sixth kill of the day. Vivars on serve, Brookline leads by three. Serve taken, set by Pilar. Spike Heitman dug out by Vivars. Set by Smagula. Jai like the spike, deflected a couple times and taken by Tam. And Heitman couldn't punch it over. Brookline now up by four. A timeout called again by Acton Boxborough as Brookline looks to maintain momentum.
Six to two, Brookline leads in this first to 15 set, uh, first to 15 fifth set to decide this best of five match here in the round of 16. I see XS in the chat and Maria Nobrega as well, bringing the good vibes for Brookline as they fight to try and finish the job here. They could not finish it in the fourth set. Can they finish it here in the fifth? They're up four, six to two, as we come back out of the timeout. The Acton Boxborough crowd bringing the noise. By Vars the serve, taken by Vasadeo, bumped by Pawar, bumped over by Mormon, and it goes wide. Seven to two, Brookline leads. This serve taken by Vasadeo, set by Pawar, Spike Heitman blocked, recovered by Pawar, bumped by Vasadeo. Tapped over by Tam, taken by Jilek, set by Smagula. Purdue the spike! Charlie Purdue, he's been absent from the kill counter for a little while, but there he secures his ninth of the match. And after the first 10 points, we switch sides. Brookline with a commanding 8-2 lead. Boy, I think that might have been Charlie Perdue's first kill since the second set. After the switching of sides, Vivar stays on serve for the Warriors. The team on the left side has won every set so far today. As Vivar serves, it's taken by Tam, set by Pawar. Spike Heitman could not be blocked, but it's kept alive by Purdue, and it's tapped down by Cowan! 7 kills now for the senior Ellis Cowan off a fantastic effort from Purdue to keep that one alive after he was unable to block it. Serve by Vars, taken by Vasadeo, set by Pawar, punched over by Mormon, taken by Jilek, set by Smagula, and it's sent over by Purdue, dug out by Pawar, followed up by Tam, punched over by Mormon, taken by Jilek, punched by Smagula, but dug out by Pawar, sent over on one, taken by Cowan, set by Smagula, Purdue, the spike deflected, kept alive by Mormon, set by Pawar, Mormon taps it over, taken by Cowan, set by Smagula, Cowan the spike, could not be blocked and could not be legally kept alive. Brookline's got a 10-2 lead as Cowan records his eighth kill of the match. Brookline with all the momentum going their way as they reach double figures first. Vivar is the serve taken by Tam, set by Pawar, Spike Heitman, and Heitman breaks the scoring streak for Brookline. Fourteenth kill of the match for Nick Heitman. Acton Boxborough trying to launch a huge comeback here. They trail by seven. Brookline five points away. The serve from Heitman taken by Purdue. Set by Smagula. Roll shot Purdue taken by Vasadeo. Set by Pawar. Ume the spike. Obi Ume saying this one's not over yet as he records his fifth kill. 10 to four. Heitman serve. Awkwardly, Jilek tries to follow it up. They cannot. Three unanswered points for the Revolution. As Heitman gets his second ace on that one. 
I, I'm being a little generous with some of my uh, stats here today, but I see no problem with that. 10 to five. Serve taken by Tomer, set by Smagula, punched over by Jilek, taken by Heitman, set by Pilar, tap over by Ume, diving dig by Gutierrez, set by Smagula, bumped over by Tomer, taken by Heitman, set by Pilar, Nala Genugari. Four unanswered points by the Revolution, and they've cut Brookline's lead in half. Nala Genugari with his 11th kill. Heitman's serve goes wide. An untimely service error for Acton Boxborough as they had all the momentum going their way. Rowan Miller on serve for Brookline. He's had a couple of untimely service errors himself. But this one goes over, taken by Tam, set by Pawar. Ume, roll shot taken by Traub, set by Smagula, tap over by Gutierrez, taken by Ume, set by Pawar, spike by Tam, sails, long but deflected. It was deflected and Tam gets another kill. That's 17. Lucas Tam, one of the Acton Boxborough seniors, fighting with everything he has to continue his high school career. The score is 11 to seven in favor of Brookline. Mormon now on serve. Serve taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Purdue, the spike deflected and taken by Vasudeo. Set by Poar, spike Tam, taken by Traub. It ricochets, but Jaila keeps it alive and it's sent over by Tomer. Taken by Heitman, set by Poar. Tam taps it. <laughs> Lucas Tam now with 18 kills today. And a timeout now called by Brookline as Acton Boxborough has completely turned the momentum around with a six to one run. And from Vanessa Trien Music, I'm losing my mind over here. This is so exciting. Go Brookline. And boy, you know, I, I'm right there with you. I'm losing my mind. This has been a heck of a set. So hard fought between these two teams. You know, this is the quality of volleyball that you want to see when you start getting into these playoff rounds. You know, only the, the best, most closely fit teams facing off and fighting for every possible point. Out of the timeout, 11 to eight is Brookline's lead, but a lot of momentum going the Revolution's way as they're currently on a six to one run. Mormon, the serve, taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. Purdue, the spike deflected, taken by Heitman, could not be followed up. A huge kill out of the timeout by Charlie Purdue. That is his 10th. Serve, taken awkwardly, set by Pawar, Spike Nala Genugari, goes wide. Brookline, two points away from advancing. Alex Magula on serve. Taken by Heitman, set by Pawar, Tam the spike, could not be blocked. Tam with an absurd 19 kills so far. 13 to nine. John Iglesias comes in to take the serve. Taken by Tomer, Smagula the set, long roll shot Purdue. Taken by Mormon, set by Pawar, pushed over by Heitman. Taken by Smagula, set by Tomer. Jilek sends it right down! Brookline on the cusp. Jilek with his 19th kill of the match thus far. 
the Warriors at match point. Charlie Perdue, the senior co-captain, serving to continue his high school career into the quarterfinals. Taken by Mormon, set by Poar, Spike Tam, dug out by Vivars. They could not keep it alive. We are not done yet, folks. 14 to 10 as Tam reaches 20 kills. Pawar on serve. Taken by Vivars. Set by Smagula. Vivars ends it! Brookline takes the fifth set and the final set and the upset as the 11 seeded Warriors will move on to the quarterfinals. The final score here in Acton. The 11th seeded Brookline Warriors, three sets. The sixth seeded Acton Boxborough Revolution, two sets. Final set scores, 26 to 24, 19 to 25, 25 to 23, 16 to 25, and 15 to 10. And a well-deserved round of applause for both of these teams because what a match, what a match, what a match. Spectacular efforts from both sides. Hats off to the Acton Boxborough Revolution for the fight that they gave. You know, after losing close sets and sets, after losing close sets in sets one to three, those were both moments where they could have just laid down, but they came back stronger in sets two and four to always stay right on Brookline's heels. And even when they trailed 10 to two early in that fifth set, they made it a fight and closed the gap as close as three. And props, of course, to Brookline for holding on, getting narrow wins in sets one and three, and then getting the job done in set number five. Final unofficial stats I had for Acton Boxborough, Lucas Tam, in what appears to be the final match of his high school career. 20 kills, three aces, and one block. The senior can be so proud of his efforts here in, at the end of his high school career. Nick Heitman with 14 kills, two aces, and one block. Sai Nala Genugari with 11 kills and two blocks. Obi Ume with five kills. Jake Mormon, four kills, two aces. Hamilton Fong, three kills, one block. And Parth Pawar with one ace. For Brookline, Cam Jilek leading the way. 19 kills, two aces, and one block. Chris Stapps Vivars got the match ending kill for his 12th kill with one and a half blocks. Uh, Charlie Perdue, 10 kills, two aces. Ellis Cowan, eight kills, three and a half blocks. Uh, Declan DeYoung, six kills. Alex Magula, one kill, one block. Nico Gutierrez and Amir Tomer with one ace each. Uh, I got to wrap this up because I think they want, they're wanting to collapse the bleachers out here in Acton. Uh, so uh, if you enjoyed this live stream, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you to all those who brought the good vibes in the live chat. Um, if uh, you've got any comments you would like to give after the live stream has ended, you can give them uh, in the comment section down below uh, later. Um, and be ready for the round of eight. I don't know when that's going to be, but that schedule should come out soon. Uh, but uh, And be sure to check out our description section for information on our local charity spotlight, the Brookline Education Foundation. And be sure to check out the bottom right corner, my personal website, jessesports.com, my email, and my Instagram. But for now, this for this live stream, this is going to wrap it up, but we're not done here with Brookline High Boys Volleyball. The final score, Brookline three sets, Acton Boxborough two, 26-24, 19-25, 25-23, 16-25, and 15-10.
from Acton Boxborough Regional High School in Acton, Massachusetts. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan. Thank you all for watching and have a good night.